So in the uh, year two, 2006, 2007, we actually come up with a, a new approaches, right? Because all those previous approaches, okay, we try, although, you know, you can increase your electro-optical coefficient to about around 100 picometer volt or range, okay? Give you something in perspective, the best inorganic standard for electro-optical coefficient that leads to now bay have electro-optical coefficient around 30 picometer per volt, 31 picometer per volt, right? So at that time, we get around about 100 or 120 picometer per volt range, okay? So that, you try all your effort, that's uh, what you get, okay? But you know, in 2006 or 7, we are trying to utilize so-called supramolecular self-assembly approaches, right? By making the chromophore functionalized with a dendron, this is a, a benzene containing a dendron, this is a full benzene containing dendron. So we try to take it into account of the quadrupolar interaction and try to show some of the movie here to actually uh, illustrate the principle in here. Uh -oh. Okay, so basically, you know, this kind of chromophore is like a molecular glass, okay? You can spin coat it on the substrate to form the thin film, okay? So when you uh, don't do anything, those are uh, uh, four dendron and uh, also hydrogen dendron, okay? It's a benzene. They can form very nice uh, uh, self-assembly property. However, when you start to heat it up, your thermal energy actually overcome those uh, self-assembly uh, properties, okay? So at this stage, if you align, uh, put an electric field on it, okay, then you can sort of align all those dipoles, but when you cool down, all those uh, uh, complementary uh, benzene dendron and also four benzene dendron, they form very strong uh, quadrupolar interaction, okay, to form very nice stack. As a result, this is more or less, uh, you have a bunch of dipole. You zip them together to form very ordered lattice, okay? So this gives you uh, extraordinary uh, electro-optical coefficient. So through the past uh, uh, two or three years, okay, by putting uh, uh, more active chromophore into those lattice, okay, called the binary chromophore, now we can reach uh, electro-optical coefficient almost a 600 picometer volt. This is uh, almost 20 times that the best of a listener bit, okay? This is equivalent, a lot of people here are studying organic electronics. If I tell you today, I developed some material have 20 times higher mobility than silicon, okay? Then you will raise your eyebrow, wow, man, this is uh, dramatic, okay? So uh, with that, you know, uh, uh, what can we do, okay? What can we do with uh, this kind of materials, okay? You know, uh, just to, uh, give you some flavor about this, right? Because, you know, uh, uh, in order to, uh, you know, uh, deliver our project goal, because our center is so-called science and technology center, right? You develop basic science, but you also you need to develop your material or device relevant to technology transfer, okay? So, in doing that, okay, we take those uh, wonderful electro-optical coefficient, but still, you need to have a combined material system property. For example, like low optical loss, you have a high thermal stability, photochemical stability, all the different kind of, uh, which list of the property you would like to get. Then try to use all of that in several different kind of uh, uh, devices, right? You know, this is uh, for ultra high speed information processing. And also you can use that when uh, Michael will be talking about, that's related to national security, okay? Because uh, talking about, uh, uh, that can be utilized for, you know, uh, to interface with a super con a superconductor, supercomputer, okay, in that. So this kind of material, not only you need to have electro-optical coefficient, but you need to have material stable at 40 Kelvin, okay? But this is uh, another new type of uh, uh, material uh, suitable for tailor for device to work with Intel, okay, right? Because Intel, in order to interconnect with all the peripheral uh, chips, okay, from their microprocessor, they want to put electro-optical material directly on those chips, okay, and in, in order to interconnect all the uh, processor. So, since Wendy already said, okay, time is up, okay, right? So I just wrap it up, okay, just uh, tomorrow, I will give you much more detail, and this is very exciting because uh, uh, indeed, all those high-tech uh, company are uh, utilize this. This is utilized by Intel, and this is utilized by National Security Agency, NSA, okay? Try to interface with, uh, to read, you know, uh, uh, most uh, uh, secure uh, information from the nation, okay? So, uh, so you can see, you know, indeed, you know, whatever we are doing, 
not only just for fun, but also can create dramatic societal impact. Thank you.